Hello friends! While I've shown you how I connected a rather modern device, namely a Raspberry Pi, two rather old ones, to be more precise, old monitors and TV sets, in this video I'm doing it the other way around and I'm going to show you how I connect a really old device, namely the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, to modern monitors and TVs. And while I tested RF modulators in the last episode, I will test cheap composite to HDMI and composite to VGA converters in this episode. And let us start with the standard situation that you would have had back in the day when the Super Nintendo was actually state of the art. Well, you would have had a CRT TV set with either an aerial input or some kind of composite video input, for example, included in a SCART connector, as I've shown you in the last video. And in order to connect the SNES to such a TV, you could simply use RCA connectors or a SCART connector cable. And just to mention it briefly, both the SNES as well as the SCART standard were originally designed to deliver not just composite video, but also higher quality RGB component video. But in this video I'm going to focus on cheaply converting the composite video signal so that you can use it with modern displays, while there are other videos online, to which I will put a link in the video description, in which the topic of high quality RGB video output is being taken care of. But while those videos are more for people who are willing to spend quite a lot of money on getting high quality RGB video from their old consoles, this video is intended for people who do have an old console but not an old TV set who have been wondering how they can reuse those old consoles with new monitors they might already happen to have. So let's then just test the converters that I have bought for this video. Now here we have my Samsung LCD monitor that I also used in my last video, it was built around 2011 and is still a rather recent model. As you can see it has, among other inputs, an HDMI and a VGA input and there is obviously no direct way of connecting this RCA connector with the composite video signal to this monitor. But rather recently these very cheap composite to HDMI converters have popped up online and today we're going to see if they can be used to operate an SNES on a monitor like this. And all you have to do is to connect the converter with an HDMI cable to the HDMI input of the monitor and then also connect a 5 volt USB power supply to the converter. You can for example use your smartphone charger slash AC adapter for that. And then you can just connect the RCA video connector to the yellow RCA jack on the converter and here I'm also plugging in the white and red audio RCA connectors but that wouldn't be strictly necessary in order to just test if the video processing works. So as you can see we do get a picture here but obviously the colors are not processed correctly. And you can see that the aspect ratio is also a little off and I tried to correct that via adjusting the screen settings, but that doesn't work. The main problem is here, and I'm quite sure about that, that the converter cannot really work with the color signal mixed in the composite video signal coming from the SNES. So let's just compare this with the performance of the second composite to HDMI converter that I bought. Okay, so this obviously looks already much better. The colors are here. And if I'm not mistaken, the aspect ratio is also about correct this time. And here I'm trying to test if there is a delay between my actual commands on the controller and what I'm doing in the game. And as far as I can tell, there really is no big delay issue here at all. And here you can see the two composite to HDMI converters in direct comparison. And even though the layout of the board inside seems to be completely identical, if you take a look at where the connectors and switches are and so on, but apparently there is a technical difference here. And here you can see the first of the two on the German Amazon and here the second one. But apparently this particular device is also available on Amazon.com as you can see right here. And it says in the description, or so it's advertised, 
that it's also compatible with NTSC composite video signals. So if you have an HDMI LCD monitor and you want to use an old SNES in conjunction with that device, this might be the way to go. But if your monitor only has a DVI input jack but not an HDMI input jack, then you could probably just use an HDMI to DVI adapter like this in conjunction with a composite to HDMI converter. I cannot guarantee that that works because I haven't tried it, but I'm pretty sure it will work. But what if you have an older LCD monitor that has neither DVI nor HDMI, but only a VGA input jack? Well, for that case, there are also composite to VGA converters that have also dropped in price quite dramatically over the last couple of years. And this device has an S-video and a composite input as well as a VGA input. And that VGA input is there so that you can use this in conjunction with a PC that is also supposed to be run on that same monitor. So you basically can insert this device into a running PC setup without having to buy a VGA switch or something like that. And of course you just connect the VGA output with a VGA cable to the VGA input of the LCD monitor and this device has then also its own 5 volts power supply. And you can see that we have a similar problem here as with the first of the two compositor HDMI converters and that is of course that the color is missing or completely wrong. And you can also see that the aspect ratio is wrong. This looks pretty much like a widescreen picture, but in this case, it can actually be adjusted by using the monitor's menu in the right way. But while filming this, I didn't even bother because having no colors is pretty much a deal breaker. And in order to show you that this is not an issue of this particular monitor, I now switch to the other LCD monitor, which by the way, really just has a VGA video input. And you can see that we have the same issue with the colors. And now I switched to another composite video source, in this case, my Raspberry Pi 2, in order to show you that this converter can work with some, but not any PAL video source. And this is the exact converter that I've been showing you here. In this case, obviously on the German Amazon website. I found this here on the American Amazon.com website. And this device looks as if it's completely identical. But I actually also tested yet another composite to VGA converter with the Super Nintendo when I was back at the old shop a couple of days ago. I didn't film that. But here you can see some footage of my eBay treasure trove video that I made something about two years ago. And as you can see here, I connected a PSX or an old PlayStation via the converter to the VGA monitor and that worked out well. But the bad news is this converter also didn't work properly with the SNES PAL composite video signal. It was the same issue, the colors were missing. And while looking through the manual of the cheaper, the first of the two composite VGA converters, I found the name Ligavo, so the manufacturer of the second more expensive part, also in that manual. And I'm pretty sure that these devices are nearly identical. Now the second more expensive converter here also has a little dip switches on the side that can be used to switch between different NTSC and PAL modes. But activating or deactivating any of those switches changed nothing about the color problem. So if you know the solution to this problem, please send me an email to inventordonations at gmail.com. But there is still one more way that I wanted to try before giving up. And if you have seen my last episode, you might remember this HDMI to VGA converter that I used to connect my Raspberry Pi to an older LCD monitor. And what I did now is to connect the composite to HDMI converter to the HDMI to VGA converter and then hook that up to the smaller of the two LCD monitors. And here is what the result looks like. So I set the composite to HDMI converter to 720p output and I switched the whole thing on 
And yeah, well, as you can see, it works. We have color and you can also pull out the USB power supply for the second of the two converters that is not necessary in this setup here. And well, even the reaction time is still okay. At least I cannot feel any real delay here. But as you can see, the picture is not in the middle of the screen and I didn't manage to change that by any of the adjustments that I could make on any of the converters or on the display. But other than that, well, it's kind of a botched solution, but it kind of works. Okay guys, so I hope I could answer some questions in this video, even though not everything worked out perfectly. But I still hope that you liked this video and to see you soon.